kids will destroy your boobs. <laughs> and they did mine. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jen Seidel, Jen the Body Painter. Today's video, I am going to paint myself with a uh, I don't know, I couldn't think of something to do, so I think I'm just gonna play around, so make like cracks on my neck and stuff to make it look like I'm crackling, <laughs> or like I'm really old. While I answer your questions actually from my last video. My last video where I painted the sky and the birds, you guys left such amazing comments on there that I felt like I wanted to answer some of them. Eventually I will do videos that focus on like just working out or focus on just my skincare or focus on just parenting. But this specific video is just gonna be me answering random questions and there's just a few while I paint myself. And I'm just gonna start like I usually do if you guys watch my videos down below, my recent ones, I start answering the questions and then I'll paint a little bit then I'll answer more questions, then I'll paint a little bit. I, this question is, I'm just gonna say the first names, I'm not using your last names, but this question is from Mars. Claudia mentioned getting Botox, and I'm normally never interested, but I heard it, I heard it mentioned with you ladies before, and you look great, thank you. Uh, could you mention when you started? Well, thank you, Mars, for that, and I am going to touch on Botox. Uh, there's a lot of different things that I did personally in my 20s, 30s, 40s, and now heading into my 50s, which I will be 52 in December, uh, there's things that you can keep up with to stay looking younger. Two of the main things that is a must for me is skincare and Botox. <laughs> I got Botox starting, I think I was in my 30s, so I, I'm going to say Fair enough that I was like maybe like 33. I got it and I tried it for the first time and I flipped out. I couldn't believe how amazing it is. So it's what it does is it just paralyzes muscles. It doesn't last forever, but it paralyzes certain muscles. So I actually was developing some wrinkles and I had a few little lines in my forehead and kind of in between the eyebrows. I started to get some crow's feet and when I got Botox, so I got Botox in those areas. So none of that stuff moves, it just paralyzes you. And for me personally, I haven't had any bad experiences with Botox. If you're thinking about getting Botox, make sure you do your research, make sure you get referrals, make sure you know who you're getting it from. I've gotten the questions, does it hurt? <laughs> well, I mean, it's needles. You've ever gotten a needle, yeah, it hurts, but it's not like horrible. So on to the next question and then I'll start painting. Okay, this is from, I hope I say her name right, this is from Fermina. I'm on the path to understanding more about intuitively eating and doing aerobics every day. She's curious of how I worked out and what's the most effective for me personally. So I was an aerobic instructor, which means I was a group fitness instructor for lots of people for years. And I also did personal training. Working out is not something that you take on as like a project. You take it on as your everyday life like a daily thing or every other day it's almost like brushing your teeth in a way like i'll wake up now and i'll go right over to my heavy weight that i have here and i'll do two or three sets of squats to me that's like a wake up routine that's like my thing so then later if i want to go jogging or do something more strenuous or roller skating then i will go do that later for hours so i'm gonna start painting because i think we need to do that at this point so i just want to make myself kind of look like i'm cracking and I kind of want to make like, almost like I have like a hole. Uh, wait till I do Halloween, you guys. Make sure you follow me, my future videos, because I'm gonna do some fun October stuff for Halloween. Ooh, I cannot wait. I think I should do like a little more hole on my neck. Kind of cool, like right here. All right, not really sure how this looks so far, but whatever. I'm having a good time cracking myself and making myself look like stone. I figured it matched this shirt pretty good. It would be kind of neat. Back to our comments. Uh, let me grab a couple more, more of the comments. This is from Raleigh, and I hope again I'm saying that correctly. Hello, Mama Jen. Hi. <laughs> Can you make a video about parenting and what struggles you had when they were young, when you were young and they were young? 
Very important when you're out there and you're bringing a child into the world, in my opinion, is let that child have the freedom growing up where they think they can make their own decisions. Watch what they're doing and monitor them and give them the right tools to let them decide whether what right and wrong is. We're human beings, right? If you give someone freedom and you teach them to learn this and this, and give them options, they will eventually choose the right thing. You just have to give them the options and you have to weigh it and show them the differences of what would happen if you choose this and what would happen if you choose this. And if they choose this and it happens to be the wrong choice, they have to experience those problems, mistakes, and errors. And you have to let them get go through it. And you have to be there to support them. That's my opinion as parenting. That is the best thing that I think a parent can do is allow a child to be free and start to know who they are and decide things on their own and stop trying to control them and tell them what to do every two seconds. All right, this is from Diana. And Diana says, I'm six weeks pregnant. Congratulations, Diana, by the way. And I'm struggling, uh, usually work out five days a week. And I now barely move because of the day sickness. Uh, it's been rough don't know how you did it okay that's fantastic first of all your sickness i can almost guarantee will not last the whole time there are some that are nauseous most of the pregnancy but that's really rare and you will have moments where you're not feeling that so your body's going to get used to it your hormones are going to change and adjust and then before you know it you're going to be eating lots of food and you're going to need to exercise because you got all that energy uh, give it time and and just have faith and know that you're going to be you'll be fine um let's keep painting i don't know what to do i don't know how far i should go maybe i'll just cut across like this oh let's make a really big one a big crack right there. Turning to stone, oh no. Okay. So I do want to say something to a comment that I got. Um, it's not really an answer, but you know, they said um, Luzma. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right, Luzma. They, she wants to see a getting ready video. And if you scroll down, you will see, I did do kind of a getting ready video. It doesn't say that. But I do believe that I did makeup in there and, um, you know, I did the, the makeup time lapse in there and I said what I eat and all that stuff. So if you guys scroll down and look through, I think it's what I do in a day when I'm not body painting. This is very interesting. This is from Rich. He, sh he says, Jen, I'm a 56 year old gay male, husband of 29 years and truly appreciate a beautiful woman. You are so pretty. Thank you, Rich. I really appreciate it. My question is, after seeing these earlier videos, which probably meant my pregnancy ones, pre-pregnancy, do you still enjoy your breast augmentation? Either way, you are stunning. I have to say that, yes, I've had my breast augmentation, which is breast implants. If you look at the pictures and you go to the video right before this and you look at those pictures, I had a decent sized chest uh, when I was younger, but after three kids and nursing them, I literally had nothing left. Kids will destroy your boobs <laughs> and they did mine. So I went into the doctor and I had breast implants put in. These are my second set. I had the first set was saline. So anyone who's thinking about getting breast implants and you're young, saline is the salt water. They're the ones that everybody says is less harmful, blah, blah, blah. Um, I did those and I didn't love them and I had to replace them. That was me and I had to replace them because the salt water just kind of leaks out and then you can kind of feel the bags on the side and the ripples and I didn't like it. So when FDA approved the gel implants, that's when I went in and I had the gels put in and um, they are incredible. I just felt like that is something I wanted to do for myself and as a woman to feel good again and feel sexy and feel pretty and feel like myself and feel confident. And it really, really made the difference. If I didn't do that, I probably wouldn't have became a body painter because I started painting myself first and I needed to be confident with that. So when people have said, and I've read, the, I read comments before, like even on Brandon's channel saying, oh, she's had plastic surgery, she had a facelift. 
I have not had a facelift. I promise you. I have never been cut under here and pulled. But thank you because that's a compliment, I guess. Before I go and finish this, because I'm not doing the whole chest, I'm only doing half. I'm probably just gonna do a little bit more on the cleavage. Maybe I'll do a crack here on the face. Actually, I kinda wanna do a crack on the face right now. Look, I'm so old that I'm cracking in my face. Say hi. What do you think? Do you like my cracks? Do I look like I'm cracking and shriveling away? <sighs> okay, so obviously, as you see, <laughs> I could keep on going and going. Literally, I could probably do this pattern and stuff for hours because I feel like I'm just getting so into it and just started with it. Like I could just put cracks through my whole entire body and just keep having fun with it. It's almost like a therapy, therapeutical for me. <laughs> okay guys, so I have to wrap this video up. It's been way too long. I've been, I'm almost over my limit with what I usually film. So because of this, and I was just kind of getting into it and forgetting what I was doing and where I was and my purpose. <laughs> so that's what happens when I paint sometimes. Um, I hope you guys like it and I hope it looks good in there because to me, looking on the camera, it looks awful. I'm not really sure if it looks three dimensional or what, but I had fun doing it, so I don't care. Thank you guys so much for watching, tuning in, all of your amazing comments. Please keep your comments coming. I will try to answer them uh, on each video that I do in the future. I promise you I will try to do a nutrition video dedicated to just nutrition. I promise you I will do just parenting. I promise you I will do just do working out and what I do um, and then all my beauty secrets but I'm trying to give you guys a little bit at a time here um, and show you that I do enjoy your comments and I do read them and I love everything that comes in and I love your support. I will try to post more often for you guys and I, you know, it's a groove that I'm trying to get in but stay tuned for October's videos because I'm going to be doing some fun paintings, not extreme paintings, but fun paintings for Halloween and focused around October. It's literally one of my favorite times of the year other than summer. Uh, I don't like the cold, but October is fun because of Halloween. Hit the subscribe button and um, I love you guys. Mwah.